hey y'all welcome back to another estrogen release video i am asia and in today's video y'all it's around four o'clock in the morning and i'm at nadine's braiding to get my hair done my birthday's coming up so i gotta get this wig done and y'all this is like one of the viral shops where you can basically come anytime they're now 24 7 and literally y'all this parking lot is packed at four o'clock in the morning so my goal was to like kind of get in here get in around like four and then be out by you know no later than eight but i'm just like yo i don't think i'm gonna be able to get seen as quickly as i wanted to it's crazy like i've never seen anything like this in my life but i actually do have my you know hairstylist but this year i wasn't sure i'm trying to you know allocate money in different you know pots so i wasn't sure if i wanted to get my hair done but then after i saw my high puff ball ponytail i was like i can't do this anymore so i was like i gotta get this done but i'm about to go in there now because it's like the shop is already packed and i'm hungry and i'm sleepy i'm going off of three hours of sleep and i had a weird dream last night so deduct 30 minutes just for you know the penalty of that but yeah i i'm really intrigued to see what this process is going to be like i don't know what to expect this is my first time so y'all me luck. Makeup without a mirror. Not the mirror, Diane. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna start with my eyebrows. I can't believe my thing is done. So as you guys saw in the video, I went to get my hair done this morning at four o'clock in the morning, and I was out of there before seven, which is absolutely insane to me. And the experience was pretty good. It's just crazy. Like they are really changing the game, and it's kind of inspiring. Not trying to be dramatic, but it's kind of inspiring just to see them all working together. And I know it's a lot of money flowing in there because when I walked in, there was already four people ahead of me at the check-in spot. And then they already had a bunch of people in like the studio part, like the, the hair part, so where they were doing hair. So I want to say I probably saw like maybe 10 to 15 people getting served at once, which is absolutely insane. But um, overall, great experience. I love my hair. I'm really glad to be back. Um, it feels good to not have to worry about doing my hair for the next two months. And even if it doesn't look good, in like a month and a half, I'm pushing it to two months because I'm going to get my money's worth. And on top of that, I just don't feel like doing my hair. So that's that. So right now I'm getting ready to go to a movie premiere. My uncle's actually in this movie, but I think his role is like a supporting like role. I don't think he has a big part in this, but I'm going to support him and also a family friend. She's in it, I think, as a main role. So I'm going to show support there. And also, y'all know I love. I love this environment. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to do a light makeup look. It's not going to be too. First of all, most of my looks are very light. Let me stop slicing myself. I'm going to do a very light makeup. But no, I'm just gonna throw on some quick makeup because I do want to leave out of here by two o'clock. The place isn't far away, but with good old PG County, traffic is kind of like a hit or miss. And I just, I hate being late. So I'm about to do my eyebrows. Um, I just brought these Topical. I want to say the company's called Topical. Topical um, eye patches. I'm really trying to find something that brightens my under eyes. Like genetically, I think I'm just already, you know, prone to getting dark circles, but um, I just feel like I, I haven't been sleeping the best, so I'm just like, maybe I really need to focus on some eye care, but I'm hoping that these patches will make me beautiful. No, but seriously, they're supposed to be brightening, so we'll see. It's been, I got two more minutes, so, and they said do it two to three times a week, and this is my first time, so I probably won't see too much results, but stay tuned. But let me do my eyebrows real quick. Yeah, I know, for some reason, 
let me pull this closer. Cause last time I was like all the way down here talking to y'all. But you know, I just wanted to do, do, do blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to do a chit chat with y'all. Just to check in, you know, see how life's been. Right now, the hot topic is, I wanna say, and I apologize if I pronounce her name wrong, which is crazy because she's everywhere. Marisa Tisa, who the F did I marry? Great series. I know if you haven't watched it by now, you're probably very, very late to the show, um, but it's never too late. But I just really, really love hearing stories like that. I think it's educational. And you know, I got a lot of pushback because I believe in total, I dedicated seven hours of my life to listening to the whole series. People are like, oh my goodness, why are you listening to that? It was very informational. And I just feel like we need to talk about this more. Not only to prepare people for, you know, potential red flags and, you know, things that you should pay attention to and you kind of push away, even though your heart is telling you not to, or I should say your mind is telling you not to. I feel like we need to talk more like about that, especially when it comes to the pressures, societal pressures about getting married. You know, and also another thing, this is kind of random, but one thing that drives me insane is that uh, people will, like say, oh, I guess you don't marry for love anymore. Everything's about money, blah, 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 blah. Marriage has always been about money since the beginning of time, especially for women. Most women couldn't really thrive without being married. You know, they couldn't own their own house. They probably, I don't think they could have a bank account. Is this eyebrow? It looks good on camera. <laughs> All right, next eyebrow. They couldn't have a bank account. I'm quite sure there's other economical things or decisions that they couldn't make for themselves unless they were in a marriage. So it's always been about economics. Um, but I completely understood where she was coming from. Although I did have my moments when I was like, girl, please. But I feel like at the same time, she's very intelligent. And I just felt like the whole story was inspiring. I really, 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 really want to see a Netflix docu-series. And I'm praying she gets on um, Dirty John. If y'all don't know Dirty John, the show Dirty John, catch up, has amazing acting in it, amazing storylines. They're based off true stories. So yeah, get into that. Let me do this eyebrow because this is my dominant side, uh, my left. <laughs> but um, this side is going to be a little awkward. So let me do this real quick. That might have worked. Am I tripping? I should have did a before and after picture. That might have worked. You had to give me some eye serum. Let me find out. Hope is alive. I'm not shaking, but I'm just like trying to be really, really light. But all in all, love the story, love her. Um, I hope the best for her. I hope everything works out. So far, I think she's getting the, I don't wanna use the word attention because I don't wanna seem like she's just doing it for attention. I don't think that at all. But I think that the proper awareness is being, you know, given to her. And I love that for her. So hope to see more of her in the future. I'm about to go get my eye cream real quick so I can go ahead and put on some foundation. <laughs> good time, baby, good time, good time. Uh, it's nothing worse than when you're like trying to get ready and you think you have time and then you look up and it's like, no, you're actually running behind, but I think I should be good. Um, another thing before I go to the next little piece of this video, I do want to say that um, I think we need to have more conversations about women not depending on men. And I think that, you know, situations like this definitely just is a key reminder. My mom taught me early on, not just not to depend on a man, but just don't depend on anyone financially because they will let you down every time. And I'm not saying that that's for everybody, but I think it's a good rule of thumb to always have your own. That's just me, that's just me. But I think we need to have more conversations like that because I don't know, I just think that no one's unplayable, but I feel like you put yourself in a better position when you already have your own, especially when it comes to, you know, your own bank account, your own car, not relying on someone else to pay your bills in order to live, like, things important. And we all go through things, and it's always a blessing to have if you do have that type of partnership in your life where both ends are receiving what they need. But the truth of the matter is that that's not an affordable option for everyone. And I think we need to stop acting like it is. <sighs> All right. Enough of that. Shout out to her. Hope to see more of her soon. She should do a, like a little campaign, like go, go on tour. Like everybody's going on tour these days. So maybe she should go on tour and just start a women's workshop or something. Uh, I need to take out my brushes. Next thing I wanted to talk about, in previous videos, I talked about how my MacBook died and how much it crushed me. Like, it's so crazy because I had, I really had to be on a video conference 
and the like literally probably like 30 minutes before the video comes. Actually, it was more an hour because I'm a prepared girly. But I was getting ready to kind of just set up, making sure that I can access what I need to access. And my laptop just wouldn't come on. Like she wasn't making noise. She wasn't ruining nothing. Like nothing was going on. And I was like, yo, did my laptop just stop? Very, very sad. You know, rest in peace to her. But that day I was like, I can't. I'm a content creator. I can't go too long without a um, MacBook. I need to edit. And on top of that, I am a professional internet. I'm a professional internet surfer. So if I can't surf the internet, especially on a bigger screen, I don't. I don't know. I just don't feel right. Like it's. I know that sounds very stupid, but I just. It's one of my favorite pastimes. Is just to Google stuff all day. So you know that really. I was like, I have to get one ASAP. It's this company that I've been looking at called Black, not Black Market, excuse me. Whoa, 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 not Black Market. Not Black Market. Back Market, woo! Back Market, and basically it's a site dedicated to selling refurbished electronics. And they have so many options. This is literally just the beginning of what I want to buy. This was kind of like just a quick decision. I didn't want to spend buku money because I got so many other things lined up. Um, I, at that time, especially, especially, I had so many other things lined up. But I was like, you know what? I really want to get this service a try. Apparently, and y'all don't get me started because I am not economically versed to speak about how this affects, you know, supply chains and, you know, keeping uh, production costs low. I want to say that this is aiding to that, but I'm not 100% sure. This is just what I've been reading. So if you want to know more about that, look into it for yourself. But apparently, or allegedly, um, it helps production costs stay low because you're not constantly going to the, you know, these companies requiring the next new thing, you know? And again, this is such a small step towards that but i am definitely going to be back so uh, i think i'm going to do a montage of my back market experience so here's some clips from that But yeah, y'all, I love my new MacBook. Um, it, I think I have a little bit of like anxiety behind it dying again because it was such a random like laptop death. Like it was just so like out of the blue. I mean, don't get me wrong, she was on her last legs, but I just felt like I had at least another year with her. But you know, things happen and I'm just glad I had that option. I only paid, I will have to go back to records, but um, I didn't pay that much. It was definitely not more than a thousand. And it's just so many other things that I want to buy. And I just feel like back market is about to be my best friend. So shout out to them. I would love to get like sponsorships of like things that I actually use. I mean, wouldn't everybody, of course, but I'm definitely trying to tag these companies and like say, hey, you know, put me on. But at the end of the day, I don't think I'm in that space yet. But with time, with time. Yeah, I think I spoke enough. It's showing 18 minutes on this camera and I'm just like, I don't even, I just, I'm finalizing my eyebrows. So I don't think I'm gonna show you guys the full <laughs> get ready, but you'll definitely see the final look, so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, we good, on camera. Did you ever come here and did you see the play here before? No, I've never been to this. Oh.
to one another. Forgiving one another. And not because of some righteous thing that we had done, but because of his mercy. They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.